like Tommy Robertson and you know all those other people um, but again his support is dwindling like I'd went down um, I've got some videos I'd went down recently uh, this time when he was before he went to prison and seriously there was like but I went down knowing everything I know do you know what I mean and, like there was honestly maybe a couple of hundred people there that was it two to three hundred tops and uh, it had just gotten so low like people and I was there just kept trying to kind of say to people and um, like oh how come you can't question just and you know there was literally people and I'm and you know if you were watching this and you were at that Tommy thing um, a couple months back um, just before he went to prison sorry um, you know what I'm talking about there was people literally there after he was sent to prison and they will I, I had conversations with them and I would say the half the people I spoke to knew they turned around and they would say things like oh what like YouTube at the same time as me and then they would say oh but the thing is we need Tommy because he's like a, a figurehead and then there's other people that just kind of like secret sources had said it's like they've all they've got it's all they've got and it is sad and at the end of the day if you want to be able to do something you need to try and build it yourself because it's certainly not going to happen through following a guy that walks around wearing Gucci shoes has a 1.2 million pound house an indoor or an outdoor pool something like that ridiculous he's going to fuck off either at my bets either to America or Israel um, I don't know but he's fucking off anyway because he knows the, the truth has came out The 12, a British woman that's been arrested on, uh, she was arrested on suspicion of filing a false complaint of gang rape. And I'm not saying that, you know, hashtag leave all women, all of this kind of stuff. But can you imagine that a British woman was raped by 12 Muslim people and then she actually came out afterwards and said she'd been pressured. Now you can understand that it would be a diplomatic and a really bad kind of thing and I mean where was uh, Tommy Robertson and all these kind of you know um, people, anybody really, where was the British Embassy helping her out, where was any of these people, did they really, I mean because it was Israelis you can understand they're not going to be, you can't say a word about the the Jew because I mean it's totally okay to be as disgusting as you want and it's all Muslims. Basically, a um, British girl uh, alleged that she was raped by twelve Israelis, twelve Israeli teenagers, in a hotel room in Ayanapa in um, Cyprus. So these twelve Israeli teens have been um, uh, they were first brought in and they were accused. They've put in a slammer and. Um, and then suddenly the girl was suddenly arrested um, having made false accusations. They've released the 12 Israeli lads um, who have claimed their lives are ruined because they get called rapists in the street back home. And, but they also had, they sort of filmed it and that sort of thing, um, that revenge porn thing. And uh, it seems it's very, it's, a, it's quite an unusual story. It's well worth looking out. The Daily Mail's followed it quite well, to be honest. Now, I think it's very, as I say, it's gone under the radar. That's why I thought it was interesting to sort of discuss it. Um, now, uh, how can I, how, well, well, basically, the, um, so this girl has basically now claimed that she was forced to confess, she was forced to confess it was all made up, signed something under duress, and that's sort of the end, end of it, those, the 12 Israeli lads have been released and sent back home. Why, you might think, why am I, well, I sort of, it's, I think it's quite, I tell you why it's quite interesting, because, uh, well, I believe the girl, right, there you go, so I actually believe her, um, I believe she probably was forced to make a confession, because if you think about it, it's quite, it's sort of a, sort of a, a diplomatic kind of uh, sort of not a nightmare for them but it's inconvenient isn't it diplomatically inconvenient and processing 12, 12 men through the uh, Cypriot um, ju judicial system would be costly and they've undoubtedly had influence from Israel and this is, this is what I'm getting at is why, why, why it's yet another facet as to why I don't like the British government I've never liked the British government because um, 
they, how, I can't imagine, now I might be being unfair, okay, but I can't imagine the consulate or the British Embassy getting involved and being proactive and trying to trying to ensure this girl's rights are protected. Just, it's sort of a class thing, you know. Um, now, look, I'm not an expert on female psychology, but all my, I mean, all my experience of observing women, sort of, you know, knowing women, is that I don't believe, I, I don't believe for a second outside of the porn industry, which I'm not an expert on, I hasten to add. I mean, I suppose I must be a bit, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a prude relative to some. I suppose, but um, but that you know the the notion that she's just, the one of the revenge thing pawns is that one of the guys claiming well she did consent to sleep with him and there's a photograph of him and that, that I believe that she probably did consent to sleep with one of them but I can't believe she said oh you know what bring in bring in your eleven mates let's let, let them have a go as well I just don't believe it so that's rape isn't it she was raped and now you know so as I say it's all embarrassing and all sort of can't um want rid of it get rid of it as quickly as possible. So it's like, you know, fourth right is signed here and that's the end of it. And the Cypriot authorities can can forget about it. I've no doubt in my mind the Israelis would have been in there wanting 12 of their sons back home. And where's the British? We're meant to, we, you know, it's not about having clout in that old imperial way, but why I doubt they, why weren't they in there protecting our interests?